Well, hello there. Welcome back to me, Matthew Myth. You know, I was in the shower the other day, and, I, and so you're going to be thinking about one idea, and then pieces of the puzzle suddenly fall into place in the most random times. Usually it's when you're in a compromising position where using a pen and paper is not advised, such as the shower, or, uh, you know, maybe a sauna or something, but, uh, what, what I was thinking about was not just the ch the chakras, the chakras, the chakra con, whatever you want to call it, I, I don't know, it, it's, you know, <clears throat> I'm not super, I don't hate new age stuff, I'm open to its interpretation, I do believe in certain aspects of stones and crystals and things, and there's aspects of that, but I know people who, like, still scoff at that, but there, there is, if everything's, the funny thing is the people that always talk crap about astrology and spirituality and things like that, and energy systems that are not visible to the naked eye, they're always the ones who are, who claim to, you know, science is their closest religion. Oh, I believe in science. I'm like, well, if we're all made of energy, you know, maybe you just didn't do enough acid or something, I don't know. I mean, if you, if you, if the listener have never done that, then, um, go out and find yourself some acid, but, no, wait, uh, maybe I shouldn't be, it's okay. Anyone under the age of 18, do not heed that advice. I don't think, according to the, uh, YouTube studio demographics, I think everyone is between somewhere in there, like, 25 to 45 is the average age of the listener for this adventure. Because, you know, finds like-minded people, I find. And also, uh, just, you know, some scattered uh, individuals, too, um, of all different ages and stages, just like me. So, what I was thinking about the chakra thing was music. Music, the music evolution of the 20th century. Is this the most recent? Um, and I'll explain, you know, 2000 is kind of branching off where, where it kind of ended, you know. I think 2000 was a good cap for where we kind of evolved to and where we're at now kind of a certain creative state, uh, homeostasis, would that, would that be a correct, I don't know, I don't have, um, you know, this isn't a fancy podcast where I have someone sitting next to me with a computer to, to Google things, so, which is good because <laughs> that can be kind of obnoxious, I don't really know who would be, I don't, you know, those people's sidekicks, what are they, is this like, you know, like 90s Conan O'Brien or something, um, so, let's get right to the point what I was thinking about the chakra system and music through the 20th century is this. At the first base level chakra, usually represented by red, um, you find what I would call the earlier dawn of Maybe even before music really became, uh, what do you call it, modal? Man, I really, I really wish I had a sidekick right now. Well, you know, at one time there was just rhythm and, uh, you know, using sticks and bones, so to speak. You know, the real, uh, you know, most native type instruments would be like flutes and, you know, wooden instruments of certain kinds, you know, tom-tom drums and things like that congas and, you know, African instruments and all that cool stuff. And that's where I feel uh, we begin. And this is actually before the 20th century, obviously. Uh, so, you know, there's a period of... <laughs> actually, let me rephrase that. Uh, certain rhythmic, <laughs> rhythmic um, uh, center point. But that led into... Um, which is in the first half 
different bop styles and classical jazz and even Spanish, you know, flamenco stuff. Uh, all in the 60s. And then by the 70s, he's into funk. Like funk, he's like, this is where it's at right now. Right fucking now. This is where it's at. Funk music. And it's true. And he had all that hippity dippity. The white people had, you know, the hippie stuff. I'm more partial to the funk and fusion and jazz world of, you know, Herbie Hancock and Hunters. Chick Corea, all that stuff. Wayne, uh, Wayne Shorter, you know, uh, Weather Report, Jaco Pastores, all that, all that beautiful music. You just, uh, I don't know, I don't, because to me, I think, uh, it's not like a racial thing, but, like, the, the band, because I'm, you know, the, the bands had, like, multi you know, racial people playing, you know, the Allman Brothers and things like that, but, uh, the thing was, really interesting with, you know, that kind of hippity dippity love music or whatever. I don't know. It just was a different vibe. It was more commercialized. And I was, I've never been more of a, like, I was never uh, much of a Grateful Dead fan. Sorry to say, I know maybe some people out there are, but it just, I, I, you know, maybe if I was living at the time and experienced it, maybe I would have a different feeling about it. But, so anyways, then, so yeah, you got funk and all that kind of stuff, you know, Blondie, the, the, that move stuff, that stuff's moving, but, you know, in the 70s, there's also that movement of punk, you know, coming through, and that's where we're moving into that throat chakra, and in the throat chakra, you got punk, you got Six Pistols, Billy Idol, Generation X, and all that crazy shit, and that just, you know, gets ramped up to Clash, blah, 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 we're going, we're going, and then you get into the 80s, and... You know, we're in the third eye, you know, we have, we went to, from the throat chakra of punk and into different avenues of rock with that stuff, and now we're in the third eye, we have the more psychedelic rock kind of makes an appearance again, you have, um, bands like Talking Heads and The Cult and, uh, you, um, you know, like Pet Shop Boys, you know, like, what would end up be the groundwork for, like, Vaporwave, and then there's, like, Goth rock and the cure and all the you know you know all those bands and that's very you know the whole gateway and that sets us up you know that's more of like the psychedelic rock kind of makes a reemergence but that sets up the beginning of metal and metal kind of came in the pop door you could say but it still is a gateway and it leads to bands that you have now as like Tool and things like that and all those kinds of bands that are very like intricate and a lot of metal bands you know they sound oh, crazy and this and that but it's really incredible what they what they do and you know the composition and performance so then we get to the end we get the ravers in the 90s and now we have more of the electronic and djs of our time right now into the 21st century the crown chakra the crowning jewel you know where we go back to instrumental music just like we did with classical and jazz instrumental music you know we have stuff that's like cigarros and um uh, like uh you know stars of the lid bands that are more instrumental you know mogwai and just bands that are more of you black emperor you know stuff that's stuff in, you know the instrumental but then you also have the crazy reverse stuff and then you get the super djs now like the you know dj snake and uh, 20 of his aliases and uh you know skrillex and all the rest and you know and, then they, and there's a ton of artists that are doing that and it's it's it'll be interesting to see where we go from there because now it's like the sky's the limit you know and we have this new thing where the mood or vibe is more predominant versus the vocal driven, you know, driven melodies. We kind of, you know, when rap came on the scene, I'd say between the third eye and the crown chakra coming out, and also probably from the 80s where, where punk came from, you know, punk music kind of set up where rap could go from jazz and all that stuff. And so that's really interesting how now we have the electronic music world and also the vocal world. enjoyed this uh, Matthew Myth mini podcast. I just wanted to get that out of my mind. I thought it was pretty interesting. It's something new to think about, to ruminate on. I like the, you know, I like
like learning and I like uh, laying out my mental cards on a table and, you know, taking a look at what the heck, like how, you know, what does this kind of mean? I mean, to some people this is saying it's arbitrary and just kind of like, well, that's very cool, like, you know, what a coincidence. But I think that the energy systems of life in the world are everything and it's something to pay attention to and, and we can learn from. So, be good to yourself uh, and, you know, take it easy and I'll see you soon. Oh, and uh, be sure to check out some Myth TV because we got some more coming your way soon.